So I'm sneaking up to the roof to see if I can catch some of the solar eclipse that's supposed to be happening in like two minutes. <laughs> guys jobs those poor guys had to literally lift that entire cooker and take my old one back down many flights of stairs let's just many flights i never realized that this drawer bit at the end of a stove is like the grill it's so weird i think i think they call it a broiler in america but i just always thought i didn't have a grill that's so weird i'm such an idiot because in the uk the grill is at the top and then it's the oven. Usually things are never as easy as they seem so I had to run to Home Depot and get this um, gas connector. But it's looking good! I mean the cabinets are still awful. My landlord won't let me paint them white. Um, I think she's a bit fond of this wood so it would look amazing if it was all white. I think it would look make the space look really big but you know you can only do so much in rented apartments I guess. It's so funny how quick your plans can change. I'm literally hopping over for a little adventure in Central Park. The Godfather is playing tonight so I'm meeting my friends over there. Obviously taking you guys. Oh my god I look so tired. <laughs> but I made it to Central Park. Fun part starts now. I just have to find everyone in the middle of Central Park. Oh, I think I found it. Look at all the people. Again, I was like, you would? <laughs> I was like, no, I was like, will you go again? So, I was like, okay. I stood in the courtroom like a fool. And those two bastards, they smiled. morning everyone I've gotten ready had my breakfast starting off the day as I mean to go ahead and I've even got my little matcha here and I'm bringing you guys along on sort of the routine that I've been trying to get into which is a bit of a self-learning routine I suppose that I'm trying to build into my mornings kind of just when I'm lazing about having breakfast getting ready stuff like that and I thought I'd share it with you so as you may or may not know I'm actually in the process of really preparing to start like a proper business on a small scale. I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of podcasts. So for example, I got this book this week, Think and Grow Rich, which is a 1937 um, text. Not that my aim is to be like rich, but it does come highly recommended. I mean, it's been going since 1937. So yeah, there must be something in here that's worth taking away. So when today's sponsor Skillshare got in touch with me, I was like, hell yes this is something that i want to talk to my viewers about because it's come at the perfect time for me i'm going to show you what it is in a second but it's basically an online video platform that is meant to sort of bridge the gap between cost and high quality learning because not all of us have time to do a course or you know it's like me sit down and read a book sometimes so this has been super super helpful because they basically have this huge database i think something over like seventeen thousand classes that you can take and tutorials from actual real teachers and the production quality is amazing the content is amazing and i'm just i'm just going to show you <laughs> guys what i mean four main topics that it includes is creative business technology and lifestyle classes and so at the moment i'm taking a lot of business classes and a lot of social media strategy classes and i'm learning from the king himself believe it or not gary vaynerchuk so for example i've just clicked on the instagram chapter and it kind of starts off like this so really easy to digest <laughs> I am a huge advocate of further learning, whether it's something you already are in the field of or whether it's something completely different, like give yourself a challenge. 
educate your brain. And that's what I've been trying to do. I've been getting up every morning or when I'm cooking, making coffee, and I've been on Skillshare picking a video. I have like my own list of saved videos that I'm working through at the moment. No, I'm gonna be taking those photography classes. And of course, I got you guys something as well. So the first 100 people that sign up to Skillshare will get two two free months of unlimited classes. You'll find the link in that down below on the top of the description bar, really easy to find. And for everyone else, you can also get your first free month of unlimited classes, just one month instead. Um, you will be asked for like your credit card details at the start, but you can cancel the subscription at any time. You can continue on if you want to, if you think about it. It's a month for the price of two coffees. That's kind of how I justify things anyway. Um, and yeah, it's just a really great resource. So I hope you enjoy using it and let me know what you think during your free trial. I am now ready, I need to go downtown. I thought I would show you today's outfit. So I just have my hair up really simply in like a messy low ponytail thing. I have my old shirt on from Vince that I got last year. And then on my bottom, I have some really, really nice, they're not going to pick up as nice, but they're sort of these gorgeous, rich colored suede shorts, which are actually originally culottes from Zara, but I cut them into shorts. I'm just going to wear my Chanel wallet on chain. Um, I just think it's like a nice detail. Also, I didn't show you my little new addition, which I just feel like makes such a homely difference. I feel like this is where I hang my hat at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm notorious for locking myself out, not bringing my keys with me. So hopefully this will help me with the little things that make me happy. This to me is the perfect weather. Good 20, 25 degrees Celsius, no humidity. Humidity's gone this week. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> And Trader Joe's. Hopefully it's a bit more quiet today. Schnam lemon. Too healthy, too healthy. Mmm, carbs, carbs. For my picnic, I need some romaine hearts. Mm, are these good strawberries? I only recently started eating strawberries, so I can't tell. I'm just going off first hand looks. Some feta, which I also don't usually eat, but I think it would be nice with my picnic idea favorite pasta section. This one is my favorite, the beef bolognese ravioli. I get two servings out of that and I usually get three servings out of the butternut squash one. And I actually lose weight eating pasta like believe it or not. The trick is small portions. You can have it just small, small regulated portions. Timing helps also. If you have it for like lunch, you can burn it off a little bit better. Avoiding cravings 101 with Tara. Crunchy cookie butter anyone? I'm gonna get my regular cherry berry berry cherry zeri blend and some frozen strawberries for my cocktails for the picnic. I keep banging on about this picnic but you guys probably won't actually see it until next week because it's gonna be the start of uh, next week's vlog. So we adore this Trader Joe's coconut milk strawberry um, ice cream as well. It's quite sweet. Definitely not like super healthy. Last but not least totally repurchasing this from my last Trader Joe's hot sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. I usually add a bit more butter, but don't tell anyone. Oh god, this is like a goddamn daily vlog in itself, just today alone. I have friends, really, really I do. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh. Okay, I think I have my own bag also. So, making late lunch slash dinner. Making this, which is so good. I had it yesterday, I think. Mmm, baby food. Heading off to the She Thinks event now. I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. Just a really simple black top. It's actually a really long one, so it's feeling kind of bulky here. It's like usually comes down to here, but I've tucked it into these misguided black satin shorts. I think it's just a really easy monochrome um, New York evening kind of look. Um, really lazy hair, uh, greasy hair slicked back. Super simple makeup because I'm literally just going to the event and hanging out with my friend and coming home so full face is not happening in this humidity and then on my feet I just got these super plain Zara slide on pointy shoes here which yeah I think just finishes it off. I just have my little YSL teen crossbody bag which is like my everyday bag and I love it. So this is the look. I'll see you guys at the event. <laughs> Made it to Soho, really, really close to the venue, which is great. To be honest, there probably won't be that much footage from the event because I'll be talking to people and I don't know 
how long we'll actually be there. Some events are really like quick in and out. And rose. I don't know, I think they look they look kind of vegan to me. But they still look good. I'm gonna eat them. Yeah, I'm gonna try these. Classic things. <laughs> <laughs> Just got out of Blue Ribbon Sushi here in Soho. It was so nice. Natalia's trying to get me to like sushi, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna head home now. The Thinks event was really, really good. And yeah, oh, any excuse to hang out with this one. I'm actually already running kind of behind schedule today. I was supposed to have a video up first thing, but I ended up shooting it and editing it today, which is never a good idea, um, but I'm doing it. It's exporting now. It's going to be up super late, but I just figured I'm just going to upload it tonight anyway, because it doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference when I upload. So it's pretty much a tutorial on this is like my go-to 90s look and slicked back sort of easy kind of summer humidity friendly hair so yeah if you haven't watched that already it will be up by the time you guys see this vlog for sure because it's pretty much like uploading right now i just wanted to wait till today to film it because i'm heading to the event and i hate putting on makeup for no reason so yeah i'm gonna go now i have a paula's choice event which my friend is helping organize because she works in pure and then i've got a l'occitane or l'occitane event later on tonight and I'm actually after falling in love with L'Occitane products since I did that sort of first impressions sponsored vlog um, a few vlogs back. Actually quick note, thank you guys all so much for being so positive about like the sponsorships I've been getting. You guys know I work really hard to only collaborate with either really great established brands that I know you guys won't mind me blabbering on about for two minutes um, or brands that just fit really well with my brand. And yeah, I work really hard to maintain your guys' trust and I never say something that isn't true. I never tell you guys that I lo loved something for months when I got it last week. Like, I would never do that. Um, I really am um, staying true to myself and staying true to you guys is what's really important to me. And because I've done that, it's attracted even more awesome brands. And you know, I see the analytics, I see how long you guys watch the videos for, and it means a lot to me that you guys stick around for the ad and I make it interesting enough for you guys to want to see the rest of the vlog after that because I know that sometimes when you put like hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored on the screen, it really, even for me, it like turns my brain off, kind of. So I'm glad that you guys are engaged and you know anytime i do like a two minute i try not to let my ads run over two minutes um anytime i do do an ad i try and add those two minutes onto the end, end of the vlog so that you guys get extra vlog footage also and i just kind of slap the relevant sponsorships in so it's a really organic way of working i appreciate your kindness and anytime you say you're proud of me like no shade to anyone else i would never begrudge anybody for making money do you 100 but for me I have a very specific way of working. Like I've got my brand in mind. I've got what you guys think of me in mind and I'm not gonna be coming on here like, I don't know, with a sponsored game or something that I'm pretending to play or pretended to be addicted to, you know what I mean? That's not the way I do things around here. So I hope you appreciate that if you haven't given it a thought before. Damn, Daniel Bryant Park looking swell. Heart of New York City. I feel like I never bring you guys down here. I hate it down here. <laughs> She's gonna help me pick out a chemical exfoliant for my skin because I'm really struggling to find one without like those pretty particles in it. Finally met up with Stephanie for her event. She organized all of this for Paula's choice. Talented, pure talent. <laughs> Got to the Loxaton event. Brought the gals with me. <laughs> So I just left the L'Occitane event with the gals. We actually had a really nice time. It just makes you feel so much more at home when you're in the city. So I'm heading home now because I need to get my video live. So while I'm in the Flatiron, I heard there is a Wagamama's. Wagamama's is like a Japanese 
western chain I think and uh, I'm obsessed and your girl has a real craving for a katsu curry so I'm on the hunt for that and then we shall return but look at this it's kind of like New York's version of Big Ben I found it, I found it. It's actually way nicer than the ones in the UK. Oh, finally got home with my press goodies. So it comes like this with a little side salad and for a second I thought they forgot the chicken but I remembered it's down at the bottom. Awesome thing about Wagamama's is you get so much chicken. This is like the least Japanese thing you could ever eat. <laughs> I feel like such an extrovert I'm supposed to be going out tonight also to catch the Conor McGregor fight I feel like that's just a must for a lot of Irish people even if you're not really into UFC so any excuse for the sesh am I right happy 30th birthday oh my god now that's a card oh there's stuff there's stuff falling out everywhere instant highlighter you can kind of see on the sponge a little bit these are so nostalgic for me I feel like these were the original highlighter my mom used to have so many different types and oh, brings back so many memories of like rooting through her makeup collection. Now I'm going to put on my shoes and go to the shop because I've got an insatiable craving for breakfast burrito. I've never had a breakfast burrito so I don't know where this craving has come from. But there is not one place in the Upper East Side apparently on Yelp. So like eggs, hash browns. I mean, you could have ham or like bacon in it. I'm not, I'm just gonna do a vegetarian version. Any recommendations in the Upper East Side, let me know. But for now, I'm just gonna buy the stuff because I think it's easier, probably cheaper anyway. So let's do it, Saturday. Oh, these are the draft coffees I was talking about. So hard not to buy them. I'm gonna try and go a week without buying them. For my breakfast burrito, I need Let's try this vegan cheese. I'm gonna be optimistic. I know I shouldn't. But I'm gonna get some sour cream. And my favorite part, hash browns. Oh my god, these are so many. Just getting everything ready for my burrito. I'm waiting on the hash brown, but I just got my favorite mug out and I thought I'd give you guys a quick little tip because you know I felt like such a mom after I discovered this because I'm still at nearly 25 figuring out how to really take care of white things. Sometimes I leave the coffee in there a little bit too long and it stains the bottom and that makes me sad. I just left a big chunk of lemon in there with a little bit of hot water at the bottom overnight and it completely cleaned the staining off. Okay, so it's not as clean as usual, but you can see that's like 95% cleaner. I didn't leave the lemon in as long. So yeah, coffee and tea drinkers, I got you. Crunch, sweet corn is my fave. That's our cream. You can make a vegan version. I think Kalel has a, a recipe on how to make like vegan sour cream. But I am gonna try out this Daya vegan cheese. This is the build up so far. Let's pop it. Ooh, perfect. I'm going full on Chipotle mode with the tin foil and everything because I feel like this is gonna be messy, but finishing with baked beans instead of like pinto beans, I guess, or black beans. Boom, I did it. Okay, so it's moment of truth. My little, small little burrito. Boom, you know what? That does not look too bad at all. So that is my Saturday morning slash afternoon, my breakfast burrito and Moana finally, because I just feel like I have FOMO and I need to just sit down and watch it. Mm. Oh, when you decide to be Irish last minute and go to the bar like less than an hour before the final fight. Oh my god, I literally nearly killed myself on the first step down. I've made it to the long haul Irish bar. Thanks so much. Nearly just about 
about two o'clock, it's not too bad, but you win some, you lose some sad times, you know. I was really hoping I'd get a clip of him knocking Mayweather out and just kind of being the black sheep, but it wasn't meant to be and definitely Mayweather deserved to win, I feel it. But yeah, I just picked up some packages, I'm gonna go home and I'm so glad I went out because I was this close to not going out. Like I literally left the house at like 11 p.m. Uh, but it was worth it and I just couldn't stand the phone when I had to go. You know when you're just like in your PJs and it goes past 6 p.m. It's like the chances of me leaving the house or putting clothes on or looking decent reduces dramatically. So I'm glad that I went out. It was a good night. Had a couple of drinks, met some of my friends. So at least that's a success. <laughs>